Hey there, today I want to show you how to use Google Sheets in Workado to delete and clear rows. So you can do this uh, with a custom action. It's not one of the actions that's available right out of the box, but it's super easy to do. So I want to show you how to do that. Uh, you should always be careful though, anytime you're going to be deleting data, uh, that you're doing it correctly because you don't want to get rid of valuable data. So with that in mind, let's get started. And the first thing that I have open here is just the Google Sheets connector. So you probably, or maybe not, uh, but most likely have used this before. And you do have some actions right out of the box here from adding rows, getting rows, and updating rows. But what we want to do is clear out a bunch of cells in Google Sheets. So in order to do that, we're going to use a custom action right here. So before I get into showing you how to do that, and I'm actually going to get rid of this step, is I'll show you the spreadsheet here. So um, we'll see that um, this is just some fake data that was generated. Um, and I want to clear this out. So this was actually a real uh, use case that I had where uh, we wanted to write to a Google Sheet every night with the latest updates. And instead of appending, we just cleared this all out and rewrote with uh, the bulk action to add rows back into place. Um, so when we come back to our recipe here, we'll see here that I'm using uh, the clear sheets, clear rows in Google Sheets, and it says custom, so you know that it's a custom action. I just gave it a name of clear rows. The method is post, and here is the path. So it's going to be spreadsheets slash whatever your ID is. So that can be found right there. Also, if you're already referencing this spreadsheet in an earlier step, you can use a data pill here. Then the values. And here is the name of the spreadsheet, which is clear rows um, right down there. And then our range here is from the top right to the bottom left. So we're starting at row two, column one. So I'm going to go back row two, column one or column A. It's going to be column one. And then row 10,000, column five. So even though this doesn't go down to uh, row 10,000, I want to make sure that I clear out basically anything that could be on the sheet, and then column five here. And then finally, a colon and clear. So I'm just going to save this. I'm going to start the recipe. And I'm just using Airtable here to test this. So clear. And now let's check for new jobs. And we'll see all of our data is gone. So that worked uh, perfectly. And now if we wanted, uh, we could just add new data back in. Now for the second use case, I want to show you how to actually delete a row. So again here, more fake data. Um, let's say I wanted to get rid of rows 11 and 12. I could clear them out, but then there would still be a gap between rows 10 and 13. So what I'm actually going to do in this use case is when I change this value from in review to processed, I want to add them to uh, this sheet at the bottom and then actually remove the row so that the only rows that are left are the ones that are in review. So I will come back to my recipe. I'm going to stop it just for a second and go into edit mode. So the way that this is going to work is I'm going to search for rows and I'm going to search for anything that is processed. And before I get into this, I, I do want to point out one of the things. So going down here, again, this is the custom action. So here it's delete row from sheet. Here we have the path of the spreadsheet ID, which I'm grabbing from step six here. Um, but it, it's essentially the same as what I showed you before. And then it's a uh, colon batch update. And there's a JSON input, which I'll put in the description um, of the video here. Um, but that will give you uh, these data pills down here. Now, the way that I have this set up is we're actually, we're doing a, a for each, we're doing an iterable uh, action. So I need to uh, solve this. So before I get to that though, um, here's really what you're gonna need if you were just doing on a one-off basis. So if we wanted to, um, let's say, delete row 23, the start index would be 22, the end index would be 23. So the end index is always gonna be the row you want to delete. The start index will be one row ahead of that. Um, however, when you do a, a for each, like I'm about to do, because I'm gonna have three rows that I'm gonna mark as um, processed. When you do the search rows 
um, action, it gets all of those row IDs right away. But when you do this iterable action, it deletes a row. So then all the other rows move up one. Um, so then if you tried to delete that second record, it would now be off by one and it would actually delete the record behind it. So to solve for that, I just create um, a variable here called row offset that's starting at zero. And now when I come down to um, my delete a row uh, function, this is where I have the row number from the, from the for each minus the row offset, which on the first one will be zero and then minus one for the start index. And then end index is row number minus zero. However, um, each time this runs, I'm going to add one to it to account for the fact that uh, each row is now one row higher than it was. So then on the second run through, this is going to say uh, row number minus one, minus one, and then row num and then an end index will be row minus one, and then the next time minus two, minus two. So I'll show you how this works. So I'm going to save this. Um, I'm going to, I'll mark rows uh, 7, 21, and 14, just to keep it simple. So I'm going to move these three over to this sheet. So we should see rows 12 through 4, 112 through 114, and then delete them from this sheet. So I have this running. I'm going to add a new row here, and this one I'm going to set it to move. And I'm going to check for new jobs. So we can see that now uh, those were hopefully, uh, here we go, added to rows uh, 12 through 14. And they were removed from this spreadsheet. And now the only ones that are left are the ones that are still in review. So I uh, hope this was helpful to you. Uh, use it wisely so you don't delete rows that you don't want to. And again, just be careful uh, when you use that uh, iteration that you are making sure to account for the fact that uh, each row that deleted that gets deleted is actually moved up one. So let me know if you have any questions on this. Otherwise, good luck.